Hi there, and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm gonna to be talking about seven supplements to help you with weight loss and two supplements you really wanna avoid, although they are well known for helping with weight loss. Over a quarter of the global population is battling with their weight, and this is not a number to take lightly. A change of diet to a whole food, plant-based diet is the best and fastest way to lose weight. Although supplementation during the initial steps can be beneficial and supportive of the process. In this video, I aim to shed some light on which supplements can be used to help the weight loss process and explain why these supplements have these effects. I will also look into two common weight loss supplements to avoid and why. The use of these natural products along with the change of diet and adding some exercise when your energy levels rise will help you lose the excess weight in the shortest amount of time. Of course, taking the supplements on their own will have little effect in the long term if there are no accompanying lifestyle changes as well. <laughs> so let's begin. The first one is dandelion. It enhances metabolism and also has powerful laxative effects, but it is also a mild diuretic. So it has to be taken with sufficient hydration in the form of water to ensure that you achieve the best weight loss results with this herb. Now it is also known to help reduce cholesterol and aids in eliminating waste quickly from the body. It is great and a healthy weight loss supplement that I really recommend. But as I mentioned, staying hydrated is essential when consuming dandelion. The next one is Garcinio Kombucha. The peel of this fruit contains hydroxy citric acid, which has been found to have powerful fat burning effects and it helps inhibit the production of new fat tissue in the body. This plant helps block the enzyme citric lyase, which the body uses to make fat. So it helps block the process of making, producing fat tissue. It also raises the level of serotonin, making us feel better and also reducing appetite. It, it improves digestion and lowers triglyceride levels and bad cholesterol levels, LDL, and increases good cholesterol, HDL levels, and uh, therefore it's great for weight loss. Now, the next supplement I recommend is green tea. It helps curb appetite, reducing the consumption of excessive amounts of food. It is especially helps prevent overindulgence that we all know all about. But it also helps to burn fat due to a main antioxidant that is found in green tea, EGCG. When you feel like eating but decide to make yourself a cup of green tea instead, you will also get powerful antioxidants which will help you keep you looking great and youthful while also helping you slim down because you will be getting this powerful antioxidant, especially very useful for reducing fat around the belly. It is such a healthy and easy way to lose weight. Many more people should be using it, really. Now the next supplement, number four, is omega-3 fatty acids. Supplementation benefits weight loss by helping reduce abdominal belly fat. And this is very, very important, visceral fat, it helps reduce. But, um, and this is of course combined with lifestyle modification intervention. I recommend taking omega-3 fatty acid supplements from plant-based sources to help weight loss while reducing the risk of any heavy metal and other contaminants uh, that may come with fish-based omega-3 fatty acid supplements. The next one is cayenne pepper, contains capsaicin, which is proven to reduce appetite and increase fat burning. You can find different types of over-the-counter chili extracts as fat burning supplements, as well as seeing them in many, as, as many active ingredients in commercial brand fat burners. But the best way to get their weight loss promoting properties is by consuming the pepper itself with your food. I know not everyone can cope, with the spiciness of this plant, including me myself, I can't eat it. <laughs> but those who can cope will find it very beneficial for weight loss. Now the next supplement, number six, is apple cider vinegar. This supplement is one I generally recommend replacing the oil in salad dressings. This is great. This is the healthiest form of vinegar, even more than balsamic vinegar. And apple cider vinegar helps you feel full and it also helps you, that's why it helps you consume fewer calories. 
Studies also show that it also helps reduce uh, spikes in blood sugar levels. And adding apple cider vinegar to your foods as a dressing for salad or during cooking is the most common way to take in this natural supplement. But do use vinegar sparingly, especially if you're suffering from any gut health problems, because it may irritate the gut lining. Okay, the next one, the last one is psyllium and glucomannan. Psyllium is a soluble fiber derived from the seeds of a herb, Plantago ovata, mainly grown in India. Psyllium helps in eliminating body waste products and in reducing hunger. It helps control blood sugar levels and cholesterol production. Psyllium is also found to be a source of prebiotics, which is a compound that feeds healthy intestinal bacteria. Now, psyllium can be fermented by intestinal bacteria having many, many health benefits. But please note that psyllium is not recommended for pregnant or lactating women or people with asthma. Now, a similar fiber is glucomannan, uh, uh, which is found in the roots of konjac. It promotes fullness by absorbing water and it, um, it also feeds healthy intestinal bacteria and lowers blood sugar levels, it lowers cholesterol levels, it lowers triglyceride levels, and it, and it helps improve constipation, both of these fibers do, and it's, which is a very important step towards weight loss. Now the supplements I do not recommend taking for weight loss are caffeine. They are practically found in all fat burners because caffeine is very, effective in the short term. Caffeine will make you sweat more and will raise your heart rate and uh, for longer periods of time, making you lose more calories. But in the long term, it is highly destructive. Caffeine will exhaust your adrenal glands and lead to the many problems associated with adrenal fatigue, such as depression, severe fatigue, hair loss, fluctuating blood sugar levels, and even weight gain. So in the long term, this supplement, caffeine, will actually have the opposite effect than what you desire to achieve. Now the last one that I do not recommend taking is conjugated linoleic acid. Conjugated linoleic acid is found to boost muscle growth and to curb hunger, but it is a trans fat. Although it is recommended by many as a weight loss supplement, many studies show that conjugated linoleic acid supplementation uh, for changing body composition and other of its proposed benefits has very, very uh, discordant results. Few studies have evaluated the use of uh, this linoleic acid con alone in comb or in combination with physical exercise, so uh, there really isn't sufficient clinical evidence to show that it has a major effect on body composition. Therefore, definitely not recommended, it's a trans fat. So to conclude, by adding these different supplements naturally throughout your day, you will improve your chances of losing all the extra weight that you have. If only you pair this with proper nutritional practices and some daily activity. To find out more, visit my website at www.thegorillodiet.com. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.